I did sure it. We got, all right. Here we are. <laughs> Cindy, we are on time. I didn't forget about you. I didn't ghost you. I didn't <laughs> leave you standing. Look at this. Back on. Team Money and Cindy Lou back again. Cindy Lou. I'm still trying the Team Money thing out. I'm not sure if it's going to stick. I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> Most people try and get creative and then they just come back to Tez and then we just end up. I would just end up back at Terry because that's just, yep. I think, who I am. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Oh, hey. So, hey, what's going on? What a week. I bet. Tell me about it. What's been happening? Um, well, you saw Friday night last week. I saw Friday night last week. Refresh my memory. So, <laughs> there um, was football. There was football on last weekend. So, oh um, my God. there's a yeah. sport that we play in Australia called Aussie Rules Football and Oh, we're currently in I think the I've finals. Heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> and my team, you know, this one. What's your team? Carlton. Carlton. Oh, okay. That's a, this is rugby, right? Just... Yeah. <laughs> it's Quidditch. <laughs> Quidditch. Oh, my um, God. Mate, scenes 92,000 people. The Blues yeah. got the job done. Yeah. And now we're playing in a semi final against the Melbourne Football Club. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. You were sweating um, though, weren't you? There was a little, there was, I, I'm imagining there was a little sweat. There was a little nail biting. You know what I do? You know what's my thing? No, I, uh, when the game tightens up, I, yeah. I rock forward and back and I bite the inside of my lip. Oh, no. Oh, that's, I, I don't know. That doesn't sound very good. <laughs> do you not do anything funny when you're stressed? Um, no, I think I just tighten up. I think I just yeah. like, yeah, I think I just, yeah, I just think I tighten up. Like I'll grab a pillow. I'll hold on to the pillow. I might stand up and walk around. Actually, that happens quite a bit when I'm watching a close game and I'm invested in it. I will actually pace. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. but uh, so... I, didn't, I didn't have any of that this past weekend. I was a cool cucumber. With my Do you know game I've watching. never... Do you know I've never ever gone to a semifinal in my life? Oh well, yeah, you told me that. You said that you, you were saving it up for this moment. Yeah, it's exciting. It's 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 actually the best time of my football supporting life, like oh, now. That's beautiful. I'm happy for yeah. you. Yeah, and a lot that's of your friends and family, and I, I think that's a general uh, Carlton sentiment at the moment, right? Yeah, no, and you know what away. else? Yeah, there's like there's like stages of narratives. Okay, and by winning last week, um, we save twelve months of speculation of oh, can they win a final? You know, they can make yeah. it. But can they win one? Um, so I just think that releases a lot. So okay, I'm asking this, and I'm not asking this to be an asshole. I'm mm. asking this just because obviously you're so invested in the outcome of the finals and we all again we know statistics we know that like based on that carlton started in the bottom four of the eight that statistically it doesn't happen very much but we're still there's hope where there's a will there's a way can happen right but you guys as a group like is the disappoint like if it doesn't happen are you like Will you walk away feeling like, yeah, but we were awesome, or will like you be that much more crushed? Do you know what I mean? Um, a bit of both, and yeah. I think ultimately, no matter what happens, I'm proud of what they were able to do to turn yeah. it around, no matter how it ends. Yeah. Um, maybe in the moment there'll be a little bit of no. There will, of course, if we were to yeah. lose, I'd be you know devastated because I think we have a very unique opportunity this year with the mentality of the team no external pressure at all nothing because yeah. the main the mainstream media kind of rightly or wrongly have i guess implied that this year we needed to make finals and then maybe win a final so yeah. we don't get that extra noise we get to just go into this game and not that the players read into it too much but they always say that you can hear the external noise yeah so and also we're pretty healthy 
uh, yeah. relatively speaking, the main stars are there apart from maybe one or two, but everyone's missing a couple of stars this time of year. That's true, yeah. And I think this will be the last time we go into a final series, um, not as a premiership favourite. So, Ooh, you know. exciting. Mm. Look at those words. Yeah, well, I yeah? mean. You like that one? I like it. I think it's great, man. I'm all about confidence. Like it's, it's I mean, and I mean, yeah, you guys are a great team. So it's like, why not be confident? But, uh, yeah. uh, wait, who, wait, where are we? I swear to you, I'm having like a, like a moment mentally this week. It's you guys against the demons, right? Yes. And then oh. your giants, yes. we should talk about your giants Let's because you know talk what? about them. Yeah. They are the ones that are really dangerous because Carlton yeah. is beautiful and everyone loves to talk about Carlton because we are Carlton. But yeah. the Giants just get to fly under the radar with all these players that already have finals experience, you know? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, not to sound like a broken record, but it's, ugh, it's so, I mean, they're so awesome and there's so many awesome players and they have not, I mean, they were picked as a final, uh, a bottom four team for this year, yep. and they just freaking rocketed it to the top. And and look, I mean, they they actually the last loss they had, I think, was Port Adelaide in Adelaide. But Port Adelaide was not looking great this past mm -hmm. week against Brisbane. It was a little disappointing. I mean, you knew it was gonna be tough. I mean, I said, I I said to you. I'm going for Port. Port's going to win this game, and it was not even close. I mean, it was it was it was awful, really. So, I think I think that although Port has something to prove, obviously coming off that loss and it's a home game for them, I still think I don't know. GWS just is like it's got fire in the belly right now. So we'll see. See what happens. We will see. Right? Yeah. 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 I have and, to ask. Yes. Sorry, go ahead. No, no. I was just saying, and like Melbourne right now are being whiny little bitches. So. Great. You read my mind. <laughs> right? Okay. Like, you know, like you don't want to walk into a final being like, well, like we, we've, you know, like that guy, Goodwin, Goody, whatever, is constantly whining. I'm so over him. And, and I had a little bit of something to say about it this week too. And, most of the response was actually quite good, although I think um, I think I told you I got what did I get called a flog. By you got called a, a flog. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I'm sure it's not good. Well, great. Let's. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't give you that word as like a like a, a test, but oh yeah, um, here we a go. Flog. Um... <laughs> Okay, ready? Yeah, okay. The word flog is derogatory. Yeah. And it is a term to describe a person considered to be pretentious, Ooh. conceited, Ooh. or foolish. Oh, I love yeah. it. I love you're all fucking, of it. I'll take it. I'm a flog. flog. I'm going to wear it yeah. like a badge of honor. <laughs> so funny, funny story about the word okay. flog. Tell there me. was a fan who, oh, I don't remember which team, I don't remember which game, but there was a fan that rushed to the front of the level one and okay. screamed out to one of the umpires, you're a bald headed flog mm. and got kicked out. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. That's so. bold. Yeah. Okay. So here we are. I'm a flog according to congratulations. I think it's a badge of honor. You know, I've come so far. It's really, I mean, in the irony that I told you that the demons were like my unofficial first team, you know, <laughs> but I'm sorry. I, uh, I mean, I would like to hear your thoughts. Everybody, uh, anyone who's already watched my show this week already knows my thoughts. But what were your thoughts on this whole Maynard thing? So, um, I thought we had gotten to a point where whether your action is intentional or careless, yeah, if your action results in a concussion and a specifically a bad concussion like this one. Yeah. Um, I was of the belief that you would be at the very least cited and go through a process. Right. So from that point of view, I think it's all good and it's fine. Yeah. Um, and I think the right thing was done in terms of it going to tribunal. Yeah. Um, should he have been suspended? Oh, 
I don't know. I don't care. But I think at the end of the day, <laughs> I uh, love it. It, I had, don't care. it had to go through. Yeah. And the big, this was the big like talking point. What, what I, what I think we need to do and evolve is from this, like, it goes through so many streams of opinion before the actual tribunal happens. Mm. And it's almost impossible to have an impartial hearing because you've already had so much commentary around it. Right. And like, it doesn't actually mirror the legal system. Like before a, a matter goes to trial, you, you know, you're not allowed to talk about it publicly. It's like the law, right? The, like there are rules for the most part. So I think the tribunal can, potentially be influenced if an action on a Thursday night gets heard on a Tuesday night the following right, Tuesday. But there's also no way to like keep like even if like the the powers that be don't talk about it there's no way to keep the public from not talking okay. about it and then you know I mean obviously these people will still like get the public opinion whether they're getting the professional opinions right I mean yeah for sure clearly, it's, it's like an impossible situation but I mean, I, I, you know, so uh, Kane Corn was talking about this and I, I, I have mixed feelings about him. Like sometimes I think he's spot on and sometimes I think he's, you know, you know, not. But he like I was saying this and then literally it came out of his mouth. It was like, well, what about these high marks? Like what about when they, you know, what do you call it? Yeah, they climb up on the shoulders and grab the mark and they knees are going into their heads like those things are completely fine. Right. So. I feel like there's mixed signals in this game in terms of like when we're talking about concussion because that's okay, but like like I clearly think this was an accident, right? I clearly think it was an accident, unlike some of the other things, like somebody could punch somebody in the first, you know, huh, someone your or team. in the balls and didn't get in sided. In the balls and didn't right, in the ball well, but the balls are not <laughs> they're only worried about this. <laughs> like it's not a problem below the belt. <laughs> No one's talking about that as like serious lifelong injury. I mean, maybe, maybe there are a couple guys who, <laughs> who sustained ball punches that like have gone on and their lives have been negatively infected. But okay, anyway, I'm going off on a, a tangent here. But yeah, no, but uh, it's sort of like I don't know. I mean, my understand. I mean, again, I'm American. What what do I know? But my understanding of it is sort of like it wasn't intentional. It was an accident. It seems like any person who's played footy that I watched over the last, you know, few days talk about it was saying it was an, a football act. It wasn't intentional. The guy shouldn't get. And I'm not even like for Collingwood. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I think that guy's a great player, but he's like, he's always seems mean to me. So he's not like. <laughs> It's not one so, of my favorites, you know, I'm not like cheering him on, you know, but I don't know. I think, I think justice was served personally. So um, my judgment would be that I think he tried to, I think he made, I think he tried to ensure that he made body contact, but okay. I don't think he meant to knock him out because it's a final mentally, you've got to be physical. Brayden Maynard yeah. is the perfect physical He's tough, uh, player. Right? I think yeah. he tried to make sure that there was contact, mm. but not knock him out. And the the fact that he knocked him out, I think, was an accident. Yeah. Um. But now that so what happened? Do you do you remember last year there was a a, a matter with like Patrick Cripps and Brandon Archie from Brisbane? Uh, remind me. I feel like okay. I'm seeing this, but I'm like everything this year is a blur. So so long story back, short, I mean, we played Brisbane. Okay. Um, a bit of a different situation because the ball was live and two players were going for the ball. Okay. Archie was going with the flight of the ball. Cripps was going towards the ball. Okay. Cripps goes to grab it and in the in the process, his shoulder hits Archie in the face or whatever, mm. knocks him out. So there yeah. was, he got a few weeks suspension. We appealed, we got off. And then on the 1st of September, there was like a, uh, what do I say? How do I say it? Like a like a commission from the Australian government yeah. to do more about head trauma in sport because now that we know a lot more information about CTE and these things. Right. And there were 13 recommendations made from the Australian government to the AFL. But the weird part was those findings were not released until eight days ago, so before the Maynard incident, and not one media outlet covered them. Not really? one. Huh. Not one. That's interesting. So, this is where I'm a little bit skeptical, but yeah. I think having read that and then at the end of the day, we can't 
we can't go 40 years into the future, touch yeah. wood, somebody dies or mm -hmm. somebody, we've had situations where people have uh, taken their own lives and yeah. you know, we open up their Serious. brain yep. and they've got CTE. Yeah. In 40 years, if we go back into the Maynard collision and the history books say, Collision happened, whether it was intentional, careless or not. Collision yeah. happened, player was severely concussed, but we didn't put it through at least like a deliberation. Right. I think I think it's I think it's stupid. And that's why I think the AFL did the right thing by at least getting it towards the tribunal. And right. then that raises my other point, Cindy. Old mate. <laughs> yeah. Old mate, who is the head of the MRO, okay. he's a Collingwood man. He yeah. did not even want this to go through the tribunal. He wanted yeah. to throw it out. Yeah. Oh, it's sticky business. I mean, it's show business. Show business is dirty. I know people don't see it that way, but it is no, show it business. Is. You know, no, at the end of the you. day, this is entertainment. There's money at stake. Mm. But I mean, I just think it's just everything's so inconsistent. That's like my takeaway from it. It's like one person does one thing and they're penalized for three weeks. And then that another person does it and it's nothing. And it's sort of like if at least there was consistency, you may not like it, but you you don't have the opportunity to like bitch and moan about it because you're like, well, the same thing happened and it's even. But it's I don't know. It's again like this year I've been paying more attention to these like tribunals. I'm like, what the hell are I? Yeah. I still don't even think I understand them fully, but um, it seems like I don't a think you're meant to. I think it's yeah. I don't think it, I don't think we can ever truly get to a position where every single matter is consistently applied because yeah. there's always different factors and angles and um, yeah. context and no two actions are always the same in every way. Yeah. Um, and it's hard, but yeah. uh, I think the reality of this all, which I've discovered this week is that we, the fans and the yeah. football people and the players and the staff and everyone involved, we live in this like made up world, this made up game, with made up rules, yeah. with made up tribunals. Like it's all, it's, it's fantasy yeah. at the end of the day. It's, it's, it's not real, but well, now you're going deep because maybe like we're actually living in the matrix now, <laughs> like you didn't take it to another level. Like if the football's all made up, like everything else could possibly be, you know, we can go there. Real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, life is so weird. You know, um, I actually watched a college football game this weekend for the first time. I watched my team and um, Miami and it was like it was funny. I had a really weird reaction to it because at first I was like, oh, here we go. Boring. And I was able to like reconnect. I got into it. They were winning. That's always helpful. Um, I actually took a little video, I should send it to you, like, you know, it's like the music and the noise and I mean, it's college too, so it's it's different, right? There's more fanfare to it, I think, than than a NFL game. But yeah. um, but at the end of that game, a guy got taken out on a stretcher too. So even with like all that protection, all that padding, whatever, he just got hit. He got hit too hard and they had to come out, get him, they had to put the thing on, take them off and, you know, send them straight to hospital. Oh, I just said hospital instead of the hospital. Look like at it. me transforming I for like your it. eyes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> cinders, Mo. Cinders. Yeah. That's what it is. It's yeah. cinders. That's me. Um, so I mean, you, you can, I don't think you can ever remove concussion and head knocks from the game, but I do no. think you can reduce head knocks and concussion from the game. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but how would you feel if they go? All right, no more high marks. Like you can't, you can't climb on top of people anymore. Would you just be like, oh fuck it, the game's over? Like, no, I I think that argument know? is flawed. I think yeah. it's, I think Kane Corns is doing what typical media people or just you know ill-informed yeah. opinions do, and that is you have one situation, the Maynard yeah. situation. You are yeah. now you are now creating another hypothetical or, or what if someone goes for a specky and knees the guy in the back of the head. We're not talking about that. That's got nothing to do with a mm. bump to the head. Oh, you no, know? but 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 how it but it does because you're making con your it's allowable contact to the head, and like I mean. 
like we were talking about Nick Nat last week. Like Nick Nat freight train is coming for you, and he's gonna mm-hmm. jump on top of you, and that giant leg of his is gonna like clock you in the temple while he's catching the you know catching the ball, making a mark. It's like it's still contact with the head. So maybe yes, comparing like those two things in this particular instance aren't you know you know apple for apple but it's still like this whole conversation about contact for the head so you have to ask the question like where does it stop you know like where where's the line in terms of what's allowable and what's not allowable because like to someone who's not watching the game um regularly or didn't grow up on it they would probably see those two actions as like well you still just knock the guy in the head you know so (sighs) I don't know. I think you know? I think it's dangerous to bring in another hypothetical yeah. when talking about this situation. Like, I, <laughs> if we get to a if we get yeah. to a matter, okay, where that happens and someone goes up for a screamer, and they knee the guy in the back of the head, yeah. um, then we'll deal with it. But also, when you play and when you actually go up for one of those marks, if you hit the back of the head, you're not going to get the actual. Um, elevation that you need to take that mark. You actually, the, the whole idea of a specky is you put your your, your um your knee on the shoulder right. and then push up. That's the whole um, right. to give you like a whole, launch. Yeah. So yeah. Um, now it would. I don't. I mean, it's kind of like this code. You just don't put the knee in the back of the head, and I don't think we've had too many instances of a bad knock knock. Out, maybe someone in the chat can correct me. Have yeah, we had too many instances of a knee to the back of the head when someone's going for a mark that's resulted in a severe concussion? Because I'm I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I think it's dangerous to bring in other hypotheticals. That's all. I think right. if it happens, you deal with it in the moment, you know. I love that you're like lawyer, lawyering me right now, like <laughs> the lawyer Terry, the lawyer is here, Terry ladies and gentlemen. He's like. <laughs> Yeah. He's keeping this trial on track and he's yeah. keeping us focused. Yeah. And he doesn't want you to look over here because he wants you to stay here. Yeah. Correct. I love it. I love Correct. it. I love so it. when people bring up legal arguments like Kane Corns, who don't yeah. have any legal education, yeah. just uh, you know, it just gets me going a little bit. I love it. I love it. Get y'all riled. push those buttons, get you riled. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, well, so what else happened this week? But, but other than that, I feel like that was like dominated every story in the what else happened uh, this week. Well, yeah, um, you mentioned the the whiny Melbourne. It's you know what about Melbourne? I've never seen them this fired up. They are traditionally mm-hmm. a you know, affluent, classy, go to the snow. I learned people. the word toffee. They're toffee, right? Toffee? Yeah. Like I, posh? Yeah. Like, yeah. that's... Classy. Yeah. Yeah. Classy. They're, okay. they're, they're a, they are a classy supporter base for the yeah. most part. I mean, you always have your, your roughies. Yeah. Um, and those that are, you know, just different socioeconomic yeah. types. Okay. But for the most part, they're not... Like, Carlton are, like, mad sick in the head for Carlton, you know? <laughs> Aren't you guys, and I'm, I apologize to whoever I'm about to offend, but I mean, you guys, aren't you primarily like European immigrants in Carlton, like Italians and Greeks and like passionate, you know, descendants of Europe, you know what I mean? Isn't that- Definitely. I mean, Ligon like think... Street, it's all Italian, right? So I think, we had an influx of migrants to Melbourne in the early 19 mid slash mid 1900s. And yeah, so you had the Europeans that came across and then you had a few like Silvani, Sergio right. Silvani played for, for Carlton. And he was one of the first stars of the game. That was that's grandpa, you know, right? Grandpa, that's Silvani. grandpa Silvani. Okay. Got yeah. It. And so that brought, you know, once he played for Carlton, the Italians jumped on and yes, you have a lot of ethnic supporters. So whether they're European or Arab, um, we have a lot of Jewish supporters as well, actually. Oh, I think you, did you tell me that? Did yeah, I that? did. Yeah. And I'll, and I'll, yeah. we'll talk about that in a moment, okay. but we have this ethnic 
passion, which is different passion to white Anglo-Saxon passion. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not, I, I, yeah. this is not a negative. Like I no. love, I, I love people that have like, whoa, you know, just energy and, and, yes. and, you know, just, I don't know. A friend of mine was in Croatia, uh, this summer. She was like sending me pictures of like, um, or well, no, she was posting on Instagram, like weddings and all this stuff. And I was like, God, that's so cool. Like, like every single person, like no one is like worried about what they look like. Everybody is just like having like so much fun and so much energy. And it's, there's no, what's the word I'm looking for? There's no like stuffiness, you know, it's just all laid out for you. And so that's why I was thinking like, yeah, Carlton would be a very, I mean, it makes sense. You guys are so passionate because you come from, you know, that, that culture. You know, yeah, more multiple cultures that are a little bit more like you know, mm -hmm. va va voom, you know, absolutely. Yeah, well, we also have a situation so the game is on Friday night, okay, the Carlton game. Now, yes. our Jewish supporters have Rosh Hashanah, <sighs> Rosh Hashanah, yes, right. yes, so happy new year, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, you get the apple, you get the honey, you do the dip, you know, God, this and that. you're like, I think you were Jewish in a past life. You know, you know? <laughs> most people thought I was Jewish because this all started in Israel. Right. Um, yeah. And I had like this contingent of people that would call me the Jew abroad. <laughs> Jew abroad. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. it. But yeah. like, what a, what a conflict. And this is why I could never be religious because the football comes first. So the game's on at like seven your time, right? PM? Uh, eight. Uh, seven eight. fifty. Yeah. So I mean, what's oh, and it's summer, so you the sunset is later, right? Over there. It's spring. Oh, it's spring. So, Sorry, it's summer here. It's yeah. but it's the sunset's later in the day. It's getting you know what I mean? It's getting dark I so. later. Yeah, I think so. Because yeah, that's the whole that like, we have that whole sunset thing to deal with. So like, if it was six o'clock and the sunset, then maybe they could get a couple prayers in and and then head over to, to the game. You know what I mean? No, do your kiddush and then off you go to the MCG. <laughs> Light a few candles, cover yeah. the eyes, like you're good to go. <laughs> like, oh my god! Yeah. So it's funny because I wonder, like, if my father, like, if my father was in this situation and i can't say that he ever would have been because there used to never be friday night college games even and and it's right. early in the season for us when it's um the jewish holidays right but like i wonder what he would do like it's so fascinating i wish i would i wish i could ask him like what would you have done dad <laughs> you would you have just said all right forget i'm going to the game you know yeah so well, weird i've got like i've got religious friends yeah whose family are you know orthodox religious yeah. and then i've got friends who are not religious but even those people are still missing the game because oh. I mean, rosh hashanah you know it is what it is wow wow and then yeah. what happens wait when's when's yom kippur they're really in trouble i think it's on a week, i think it's on a weekday though i think yeah. they're, i think they'll be all right yeah i think it's um it always falls around my birthday when is it anyway yeah, I think they'll be okay. But oh man, bummer. Well, bummer for you guys. I hope you have um, a way to go silent on social media. And I hope you have a way to watch the replay of the game and just pretend like, pretend like that's what I have to do. You know, the game's going to happen here at like three in the morning. I'm not going to be able to watch it until probably the next evening. So like radio silent. Yeah, because it's a Friday, like it's on Friday morning, you got to go to work, you got you got stuff to do, right? So a lot sure. of times I'll see a game, like it'll be like 12 hours or later after the game has been played. So and I'm like, you know, I, I got this thing in my hand all the time, right? So all of a sudden, like, I'll go to Instagram, I'll be like, oh, like, I'll see like one little picture of something. And I and then from there, I try to like, figure out whether that was a good picture bad picture <laughs> who won or lost i'm like oh god i think i know i think i know sometimes i'm surprised but yeah i have to go radio silent when it comes to uh the only game i think that comes on live that i'm able to see um in the finals is the grand final and it's late 
but it's it's live for us. Otherwise, otherwise, all these uh, playoffs are well, you don't call them playoffs. Do you know playoffs? I'm calling them playoffs. I'm sorry. You can make, call them whatever you like. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Cindy, if the Blues make the grand final, will you support them? Who are they playing against? <laughs> who is who is next to them in the grand final? Collingwood. Oh. Oh, I can't say that. I can't. I can't commit. What? I can't commit. I I piss off a bunch of Collingwood people, and I'll piss off a bunch of Carlton people. Let I me tell to, you now. I have to say Switzerland, man. Like, no, I cannot. I cannot. All right. Switzerland, Switzerland. Call me Switzerland. Are you? Uh, and then you we'll across, talk later. <laughs> were you across the the old mate from St Kilda Saints TV who went on national television and had a little pot shot at Carlton last week? Were you across? Wait. This? No. Wait. What happened? Stand by. This okay. is what happened. Actually, right. I hear you've got some interesting opinions about tonight's game, about those Carlton supporters. Oh, uh, yeah, Carlton. So they're, they're an interesting mob. It wasn't too long ago that they were spitting on their players and now, you know, after a few wins making finals, they're petitioning to get a statue of Blake Akers. So uh, they're, on a, they're on some good form, but for tonight I'm tipping the Swannies to shake down the saliva from the sky. Oh, <laughs> some controversial opinions there, boys. Shake down the saliva from the sky. Now. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'm not threatening you. Yeah. What I'm doing is giving you context of yeah. just how to, how to best protect yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There are well. There is only one supporter base you do not want to poke the bear <laughs> at, And that's this one. <laughs> and you know why? <sighs> because it doesn't come back just from me. We've yeah. got six oh, or God. seven different content shows on this channel Gosh, that you'll hear from you don't want pommy against you that's the number one person you don't want against you um but wait, wait, wait 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 let's go back a minute so so for this to happen you're saying that one gws does not beat port adelaide this week they and, could and two they do not beat collingwood after that right so yep. right now you want me to abandon my Abandon my allegiance at the moment for this hypothetical that Collingwood will still be in the grand final. No, you just, the thing is, uh, oh the God. ultimate dream, I think, for anyone at the AFL. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, let me rephrase. The ultimate dream for football, in my yeah. view, is a Collingwood Carlton grand final. It's like, Yes, yes, because oh. it's the two biggest fan bases and the most fanatic of of supporters. And the, the greatest and rivalry it's in, in Melbourne, Australia. and then it can be mm. all Victorian. You guys will love it. It'll be so yummy, all Victorian. <laughs> um, oh, speaking of, okay, so another some classic stuff this week. So, I was I was comparing, you know, Victoria to if everything happened in Texas. And so I got a couple of great comments on that as well. I got one. This was a classic. Um, well, the World Series is only played in America and it's called the World Series or not even called it like it was compared like as an equal to the Victoria situation. And just because we're arrogant asses over here, it doesn't equal the same thing because all the teams that play in Major League Baseball play at all the different stadiums and they play in different you know, cities and states and all that stuff. So that was a fun one today too. I got a cup. I got, I got some Victoria ribbing from, uh, from that comment today. You know, That's it a... started in, they all started in Victoria. So it should just stay Victorian forever and ever and ever. So well, until there's a better stadium than the yeah. MCG, then yeah. we can, you know, we can have. I'm gonna this build it, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. call. I'm gonna call up some friends. And we're gonna get it going. I think the stadium should be like in the center of Australia, just to really fuck with everybody. Just put it right in the center. Everybody has to caravan. It could be like a great race. There could be all kinds of stuff like set up in order. Like if you can get there and you can be alive when you get there, because isn't like the most. <laughs> Don't you have more things that can kill you than any other any other place in the world? Yeah, but right? you, know, you know, she'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> it'll be fun. It'll be like, yeah, we'll put it like, I don't know, what's the center? Like, um, you mean like Uluru, Uluru? The, big, Uluru? the big rock? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it'll be on top of <laughs> It'll be like Hajj. Oh like going God. going to Mecca. You How know? many people am I upsetting right now? I'm probably upsetting way too many people with my no, ignorance. People, people, my uh, flogging, my arrogance, and my, uh, you know, whatever else you told me it was. It's, it, I, I'm, <laughs> it's an interesting point you brought up. I watched the, the clip a few weeks ago of, is it Noah Lyles who said something about the Basketball World Cup and he's not sure why they call the NBA the world champions yeah. because it's only played in the US. Yeah. Um, and you actually answered it because I was like, that's just typical America. Like, oh, if you win the league in America, you must be the world champ. It's just oh, classic. Yeah, America. of course. <laughs> well, you know, I actually looked up because I'm, I'm like that, right? I always want to know, you know. So I said, well, why, you know, how did that come to be? Like, were they just all, were they that stupid or, or what? And so apparently it used to be called the Championship of the United States. And then it morphed into World Championship of the United States. And then it morphed to just World Se or World Champion Series, something like that. And then it just abbreviated to World Series. But yeah, I mean, of course it's stupid. But I would imagine if like more countries um, had baseball the, at, the, at the level that we have baseball, then maybe there could be like a actual World Cup for these games but i mean you know other than other than rugby and soccer what what are, what other one i mean in golf and right i mean tennis basketball basketball though doesn't have world series though really it's right? got the world cup it does they're playing in it right now the u.s just came fourth it has a world cup now where have i been I don't know, who do mate. they play it's all I... the same teams that they play like in the olympics uh similar like I mean, Australia was in there, Lithuania, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's the World Cup of basketball. Yeah. Oh, I've been asleep for a decade, probably. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah. But that's new, right? That's relatively new. Stand by. Let's have a look. All right. Let's have a look. I will Google it. When did the Basketball World Cup begin? Let's see. Tell me. Hmm. So it's the FIBA Basketball World Cup and the FIBA. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, oh, Cindy. What? Been around, been around forever. Really? The first FIBA World Cup was held in 1950 in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Basketball? Mate, absolutely. See, this All is right. America. Well, like, I, have a con yeah. I have a confession. I've got a confession. Okay. I don't watch basketball. I what? have, I don't watch, bas I have no interest in basketball except for maybe like in the final playoffs, like I okay. might pay attention, but I, I had a moment where I was into basketball because I had a boyfriend who I'm, I'm easily influenced by men when it comes to I'm sports. I'm getting the picture. I'm putting yeah. the puzzle pieces yeah. together. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, here's the thing, right? I, I've said this, I'm sorry. I'm repeating myself. I like sports in general. So yep. I'm not opposed to watching a sport, but I grew up in a football family and that's the sport that we all watch. So, uh, you know, basketball, I, you know, I started watching a little bit of basketball in college and, and then a, I had a boyfriend that was really into basketball. And then after we were over, I sort of like, I didn't really care, you know, I, I didn't care. So shows your loyalty, Cindy. That's what I like to hear. I like that. Yeah. I look, I am a very interesting person. And I like a lot of things and I do not have time to focus on all of them simultaneously. I have to pick and choose. Right. So even with my AFL obsession, like a lot of times my American football and I don't watch NFL, by the way, I don't really care about the NFL either, unless it's like the end in the Super Bowl. But I yeah, like if there's if there's a college football game on and there's an AFL game on, I'm watching the AFL game. I'm, you know what I mean? Like I only have time for, I have time Love for that. so much, you know? So. Well, you're loyal to, yeah, yeah fair. I, yeah. I don't think I could date someone who is as obsessed with AFL as what I am. 
if they were into it as much as you, you could not date them? No, because it's like you need a world outside of your own yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I just don't think it would work. It's Speak, too close. Speaking of, is there is there a, a Mrs. Terry at the moment? No, nah, Terry is married to the Terry's married to, to the, the blues. I love it. You know, I was thinking about this on Friday. I'm like, which woman is going to be able to give me the joy that I experienced last Friday? Nobody. Oh God. Nobody. No, that's not. Not even, one. That's not even the proper way of thinking about it at all. I mean, yeah. I'm just here to tell the truth the way oh it is, you know. Oh my god. So, okay, so so you want so you would like to date someone who doesn't want to watch like you don't even want her to watch football. You want her to be like, "Great, I'm going out with my girlfriends." Like that's your perfect girl. Like she's checking out while you're doing oh. your thing. Or do you want her to come to the game with you, but just be like you know, more passive about it? Like, "Oh, that no, was No, I just think I just think in my experience with dating, yeah, the ones that got caught up in Carlton, which it's yeah. hard not to when like you're around me, but like <laughs> it's just too close to home. Like I can't date a Carlton supporter. It's you can't mix business and pleasure. Like it's not the right thing to do, you know. So you know what's funny is on one of your fan cams from I don't know, it was like a few weeks ago or yeah, there was a guy who said that he walked to the game with his girlfriend or wife or partner or whatever. And that she then decided to go home. Like she went home and I was like, I was fascinated by her. <laughs> I was like, wait, you're at the MCG, you're at this game and you're like, okay, I'm at enough. I'll see you later. <laughs> like, I was like, who is this woman? I just, oh yeah. I had, a, I had a lot of, I had a lot of thoughts about this, this couple, you know, how that all works out. But he didn't seem to care. He sat. He said he was about the game by himself, and he was. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you remember this? I at don't all? remember it exactly. I but wish I, I remembered uh... what game it was. It wasn't too long ago. I think it was like it might have been like right before, like the second to last game or something like that, okay. right towards the end, like the game that got you into the finals or something like. I think that's what right. it was. You know. Interesting. But, yeah. yeah. I just thought, wow, no, man. No, it's um, no, I'm I'm so engrossed in what I do. Dating's just not during the season. I, I don't think about it during the season. It's just I'm busy. I'd you rather want my like own an company. October to April like girl, and then she moves to another country for six months. Well, the reality <laughs> is, this Cindy, I'll tell you this: she's not in Melbourne. I oh, know that. She's oh just my god! Not. Oh my it's god! Just, it's a cesspool here in Melbourne. Will it's you? An what people are listening <laughs> yeah and i tell this to people into their face like it's just it's grim dating's grim <laughs> wow you should not come to la then oh my god it's awful um luckily i don't have that problem but so so here's a question for you yeah where since we're going personal today right mm. um what so i know you're you're a your world traveler. I know you, you've lived in other countries and I know you would like to live in other countries, but how do you see, like, how do you see yourself continuing your love affair with your team? And then like going to those restrictions again, where you maybe can't watch, like where you get, like what time was it, for example, in Israel when you, you were watching games, was, were you actually getting up in the middle of the night or like how, how was the time change with that? So all the night, get, so it's eight hours. So the yeah. night, game, like Friday night would be Friday afternoon. Yeah. Um, Saturday afternoon games would be 5 a.m. Saturday morning. Okay. Which, and you're watching them live? Yeah. Okay. It's not that bad. <laughs> like 3 a.m. is hard. I would not go to a situation where it's like a 3 a.m. Okay. wake up. Yeah. But Israel was great. And yeah. that part of the world's great because... You know, it's 5 a.m., all right, it's a little early. You wake up, you watch the game, yeah. do the fan cams, and then you've got the whole afternoon to go and have fun while everyone's in bed sleeping. So you couldn't, though, I can't, I can't imagine you, like, living on the west coast of, of the United States and having that where the games are at 3 in the morning. Would you just be like, I'm going to be a night person? Or would you just be like, I got to do what I do and watch replays? I wouldn't be watching a replay. If a Carlton no. game was on, you mad. Yeah. So you'd just be up. 
Yeah, so would absolutely. you so would you pick your next location based on the time difference when your Carlton team might be playing? <laughs> It's, it's a factor. No, it's yeah. definitely a factor. Um, yeah. I use, I mean, I don't know if I still do. I kind of have this dream of New York. I always had it as a kid, mm. but I think it was just because like when you're from Melbourne, when you're from not from New York, you watch the movies as a kid, you get influenced. It's like, oh, you know, New York. But I think the older I get, the less I like white Western culture. Uh. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Yeah. I mean, New York is so, fantastic. I used to live in New York. Yeah. New York is actually fantastic. But, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fantastic mm. places to live other than New York, you know, and it's full on. I mean, it is full on. Yeah. Again, I will yeah. say this. I think for sports media, the yeah. world that I'm in, how can I not have a, a period of time in New York or in yeah. the U S like it yeah. just, it just makes sense. And I'm very committed to growing the game in the U S via content. So yeah, killer. Um, we'll do that. You know. But no, I think, I think it's honestly, I would, I would live in Israel again if I could. Yeah. Um, the old, yeah. Yeah. I loved it there. Um, the middle East Europe, you know, where I would pick as one of my top destinations. Where? Um, China. Really? Shanghai. But the, the issue is the internet thing like the wall and oh mm. yeah that could be a huge problem yeah that i love it there yeah i've never i've actually never been to asia it's really? yeah never been i know for you guys it's like second nature to to go to asia but to i've never Bali, been yeah. never been there i've never been to africa i've never been to asia i've made it to south no. america recently i went to colombia that was awesome mm -hmm. but um yeah that yeah uh Huh? Fit Silvani, not ready to return. Hot off the presses, people. Yeah. What's not, that not about? Ready. I know. I'm, I'm devastated. What does um, that mean? He's just not going to play. So he's he, he. there were reports yesterday that he failed a fitness test. This morning, the reports are that he passed the fitness test, but okay. they're just not going to select him because he's missed too much football. Uh, mm. And so you're torn. But I think Tom DeConing will be the, the savior this week. Yeah. Yeah. Cutie, little cute blondie. Yep. Yeah. And then you're out, you're missing Jack Martin this week, right? He got, he got a week. Funny you mentioned that. He yeah. got a week for the potential to cause serious injury. Maynard gets off for actually causing serious injury. Wait, remind me though, what did Jack Martin did? He, he punched someone in the face or that was uh no. He yeah. He punched like a, a tackle and, and he yeah. clocked him in the chin, the chin. Yeah. But it, it was, was like a, a love tap. <laughs> you and your love taps. I'm a little concerned about this situation. Oh, and then the other guy who got it was, uh, Oh, the Melbourne player who like, Full on gave gave the guy an elbow in in his face. I was like, you gotta yeah. fake the. I mean, you gotta like hide those better if you're gonna do those. Yeah. You gotta go all like Tobe style and <laughs> get it grab while you're nuts. rolling around on the on the ground and grab the balls. You know, <laughs> like can't do it that obviously. I mean, come on. They need. Mm -hmm. You know what you guys need? This is what you need. You need some soccer players to come over, like maybe some, especially like the South Americans. And you need to do like a, a school of acting. So no, that, this is what we don't so, want. <laughs> so that you can, you can hide. Well, you guys already have it because there's a lot of like, like unnecessary, like heads being thrown back and like yeah, someone gets yeah, a little yeah. tap in the back and they, they fly off the ground <laughs> forward, right? You already have a little bit. But like you, you might need just a little bit like of how to be a little sneakier. I don't know, yeah. a little sneak, like some little skills, sneakier skills or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're like, no, no, we don't want that. <laughs> Let's recap. We don't want more Americans in the game. <laughs> we don't no, we want, want more Americans in the game. We don't want oh. flopping to become a thing. Oh my god! But how are you going to control? This is what I'd like to know. How are you going to control, like not? There's a fine line, right? You get more Americans, you get more Americanization. Is that a word? Americanization. Mm -hmm. Like how you keep it like, I don't want, 
I don't want them chanting USA at Aussie Rules football oh. games. Oh, you know, I mean, yeah. I want. I don't want that. You know, I'm okay. So here, here, mm. Victorian people, I'm okay with Australian rules football staying Australian. I'm totally good with that. Not meaning like other people can't play it, but like I, like I, I like Australia being the home of Aussie rules football. So can you imagine? If this game was like soccer and this had a World Cup and it was like Wow. <gasps> be exciting. Yeah. It'd be really exciting. We're probably no, I don't I look, I'm an optimist with everything and nothing's yeah. impossible. Yeah. But it would be like three hundred years from now. So there's this I don't know if I should say this. I'm gonna say it. What the hell? So I got contacted by a very seemingly very nice person. Um, and he's coming to the States to like cover the U S AFL and oh. he's like, Oh, you should, he's so funny. He's like, you should just come over to Sarasota to like, you know, meet some people. And I'm like, yeah, I'll just pop over to Florida. I'm like, I'm just like, <laughs> like, it was just funny. It was sort of like, you know, like, Oh, besides that I'm from there. I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to go to Sarasota, but but yeah, he's like coming here and I think he's doing like a little series or something or his own show, Ooh. his own podcast on the US AFL. And um, you probably like him. I don't, I'll, 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 when I know more, I'll let you know. But he, yeah, he's really into it. Like Love kind it. of along the same line of the game expanding and, and giving more attention to it and stuff like that. So, um, and, and it's big, I, I mean, it's big here. I mean, there's, what did I tell you last time? Was it, did I say there were like 50 teams? I can't remember. Yeah, you said they, yeah, exactly right. And in Canada, there's like a huge, a huge amount of people in whatever they call it there, the Canadian AFL or CAN. Is it CAN AFL? C A AFL? C A AFL. Coffle. The couple. Waffle or the coffle? Oh, waffle. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think you're right. It's a long way off. I think it's a long way off, but you know, if you don't have dreams, what do you have? What's Ain't the point? Ain't that the truth? What's Ain't the that point? the truth? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ain't that so, the truth? All right. So predictions for this coming week. Let's see. I'm, I'm pulling up start. the app. I'm pulling up the app so I can. Carlton, Melbourne, GWS, Port Adelaide. Oh, duh. Um, well, I'm going Carlton. Carlton. Yeah. Hands down. Carlton. It's going to beat the demons and i'm gonna say gws is gonna beat port i'm sorry wow. port people well there's no port people watching this show who am i kidding but i am sorry because i i've met a lot of you online and i like a lot of you and i like your team but i think the orange tsunami is it's gonna be too much too much do you, you think guys. it's just uh the timing of the giants run or do you think there's something wrong with the way port adelaide are playing they, well, they definitely seemed a bit lackluster this past week. Like even yeah. with like all that power in in the midfield, like they just like they couldn't just couldn't pull it together. Um, and you know, it was yeah, it was. I don't want to say embarrassing. That's a harsh word, but it was just like oh, really? And I mean, Brisbane was playing really well, but you know, they're they're sometimes hit or miss, right? So they have weaknesses, but I just think they all the weaknesses that that Port Adelaide had were like being, um, you know, on display, let's say. And, you know, they didn't have Charlie Dixon. I don't think they get him back. I'm not, I'm actually not even sure um, what his status is, but you know, their forward line is not great. So it's, I think you guys are, um, I think you guys, I mean, sorry, I think GWS, I mean, they just keep getting better. I think, I think they're like peaking now mm -hmm. and it seems ideal right it's like you want to be your best at the end not like in the middle and, and maybe that's happened for port maybe they just you know kind of were too good too soon you know so I but like i don't it. know i mean you know obviously it's a game anything can happen i mean i didn't think port adelaide was going to be able to you know smash the giants the last time they played um, but like you, I was like, oh, if they're going to lose a game, that was the game, you know, for them to lose. Right. So um, 
we'll, yeah, we'll see. But I mean, there there's definitely momentum and the story. Like, let's just put like allegiances aside, right? The story would be fantastic. The story of the Giants winning again and the Giants taking it one step further would just be, you know, it would be awesome. I think for the the sport as a whole, you know, people won't like it. Fans of, of certain teams won't like it, but I think the the big picture would be would be amazing. So if it was to happen that way and yeah. Carlton and the Giants win, yeah. It's fascinating because both top four teams would yeah. have essentially gone out in straight sets and yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens then there'll be discussions around, oh, we shouldn't have a bye before the finals and blah, blah, blah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it'd be fascinating. I don't know how many times both top four teams who lost in the first week lost in the second week. Um, but it's very possible. Yeah, who, who out there has this information? Who has these stats? On, I'll tell you uh, this much. Somebody yeah. watching will know. Yeah, I'd like to know. Oh, I got corrected. And tell me if they were correct. Um, if they were correct about my, their correction. So I thought that you guys hadn't done what back to back finals wins since 1995, but someone said it was 99. Is it 99? It, well, well, yeah, it must have been 99 because we made the prelim. So we would have oh, needed to. Oh, you would have had to win too. Mm. I got it. Okay. Well, my apologies. I was you know incorrect it happens but and again i'm american a, what do okay know? it's okay um there's another stat carlton haven't lost a final in 10 years they haven't lost a final in 10 years they haven't played a final when does last time they played a final? hey i don't make the rules cindy i just they haven't do lost a final in 10 years yeah can you believe it well, but it doesn't, I don't understand. What are we saying here? Because if that means they win the whole thing, right? Are no, you I, saying finals in terms of all the other games leading up to the, the grand last final? Time, the last time Carlton was in a final and lost was 10 yeah. years ago. That's all I'm saying. Oh, okay. But they haven't actually been in the finals. Well, <laughs> that's then. also true. But, uh, okay. I was like, wait, what? This is, is this a riddle? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh my god so crazy um are right, you have any other words for me no i think that's it uh right. hopefully we're chatting next week and uh we're talking about a carlton prelim oh my god i know we'll have, I we'll have a special surprise for everyone next week we're not gonna yeah? say well yeah it's not gonna look like this next week oh, true true that's right that's right yeah so okay. it should be fun. It'll be a little different, but we'll uh, we'll have fun. All right. Well, Cinder's yeah. been real. Yes, T Money. It's been awesome, and I uh, I hope you have a exceptional weekend and all your dreams come true. And uh, I can't wait to talk to you about it next week. Absolutely. Chag Sameach. All right. Bye. <laughs>